Welcome back to the channel, my name is T Cypher and today we're going to have a look at the routing system for the AV8B Harrier and DCS. This is a topic I've not touched yet, mainly because I'm trying to work towards the explaining the time on target systems, quite an in-depth system for the Harrier, and I thought this would be a first good stage to show you as it feeds into the future episode about uh, time on target. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, as per normal, I'm presently in active pause for the purposes of this training session, mainly so I'd avoid crashing into the ground. So to do this, what we're going to have to do is we're going to be working primarily on our EHSD, which I have set up on my left MFD at the moment. Okay, so you notice here we have a button called root. If I select it at the moment, nothing happens. So you, you get this come up, but it's, it's not something of use at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the uh, data page, okay, and I'm going to select end sequence up here, and I'm going to select ingress. So this is ingress route. So then you can then you select your program, okay. So you can program waypoints, mark points, and target points for these activities by selecting the correct item here. So for this route, I'll start by quickly explaining what. Uh, routing is so the Harrier's got the built-in waypoints etc. This way is, is a way of building a flight pan to a target and, and away from a target, which is not necessarily sequential to the waypoints itself. So I'm going to program route. I'm going to start with waypoint six in this case. Then I think I'll go to waypoint four, three, and one. Okay. So I've now just programmed an ingress route. Now if I select there. I now go into egress. So the last way waypoint I put in would be potentially a target to destroy. So I'm now in ingress mo egress mode. And let's select route. So I'm going to go to two, then back to six, I think. Okay. And then we just place hit data again to come out of that. Now to actually display it and run the route, we have to hit the route button here. And we've got several selections. Now sequential is does is what we're looking for. We're looking for n sequence, so that's what we have here. So now I can show you what this means on the MFD. So we can see we have a purple line. The purple line is the ingress route. So if I just scale out, so I can see a bit more. Okay, so we can see we have the purple line. This is the ingress route I typed in, and then we can notice we've got a dashed line here. The dashed line is the egress route, the, so the route out. And then all we do to actually use it, we can just fly it like we would any other normal route. So if I come out of active pause, there we go. You notice we now got waypoint six as the next target. So if I sequence next, it would uh, use the, um, the wink button, waypoint increment button. It's now switched to waypoint four, which was the second I programmed then three, and if I remember correctly, the next one will go to one, which was our target. And now we should see our return route, so it's going to go back to two, then out to six. So that is how we use our um, end sequence to build up a route. Okay, I hope you found that of use, and uh, like I said, this is to work towards showing how to use the time and target functions in an additional, uh, as a detailed level. Please like and subscribe and see you again next time.